हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अमरप्रीत कौर लेक्चरर फ्रॉम जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेरी वेल आई एम बैक टू कम बैक द इफेक्ट ऑफ कोविड नाइन्टीन पेंडेमिक क्राइसिस ऑन एजुकेशन विद माई सेकेंड लेक्चर डैट इज नोन एज बायनोमियल नॉमन क्लेचर it is international standardized system of naming living organisms okay mind it living organisms that includes plants animals bacteria viruses and many other before going ahead i would like to answer a question that was always asked by my previous year uh, students that why we need such kind of system because they found it very hard to pronounce and to remember i will explain this question with a common example okay walnut it is known as akrot in urdu in our kashmiri vernacular language we say it doon and in dogri language we say it khod in hindi we say it akrot so it is a single uh, fruit but having different names it causes a lot of confusion among the scientists who are not present in kashmir but they are working around the globe to remove such ambiguity they created a common system of naming plants that is known as binomial nomenclature now they don't use khod akrot doon names to call akrot to walnut they have used a standardized name that is juglan regia this system was founded by carlos linnaeus and he published it in his book species plantarum in year 1753 there are certain rules for naming these organisms but remember it for naming plants we have international code of botanical nomenclature that is icbn once more it is international code of botanical nomenclature and for animals we have iczn that is international code of zoological nomenclature likewise for naming bacteria and viruses we have different nomenclatures and here i will discuss only icbn that is international code of botanical nomenclature because this class is related to botany only rule number 1 according to binomial nomenclature any scientific name is having two parts the first part is known as generic name and the second one is known as specific name as already i have given the example of walnut we say it juglan regia juglan is the generic name and regia is the specific name rule number second in plant nomenclature that is icbn tetonyms are not valid now what is tetonyms tetonyms is when generic name and specific name are same so this is not valid while naming the plants you cannot say to juglan regia as juglan juglan while in zoological nomenclature that is iczn tetonyms are valid i give you example like indian cobra you can say it naja naja it is the scientific name for indian cobra or for rat you can say ratus ratus 
रूल नंबर थर्ड फर्स्ट लेटर ऑफ जेनरिक नेम मस्ट बी ऑलवेज कैपिटल एंड फर्स्ट लेटर ऑफ स्पेसिफिक नेम इज ऑलवेज स्मॉल ऑलवेज राइट इफ यू हैव टू राइट जुगलन ब्रिगिया जे मस्ट बी कैपिटल एंड रिगिया आर मस्ट बी स्मॉल रूल नंबर फोर any scientific name is always italicized when you found it in a book you will see the scientific name it is written in italics but while writing the scientific in a name in your notebook always remember that you have to underline the scientific name both generic part as well as specific sometimes you people will found a small word okay like it may be of um three alphabet or four alphabet after the specific name it is a name of scientist got it like magnifera indica it is common name of mango and after that there will be written as l i n n dot this is the name of scientist linnaeus carlus linnaeus okay because carlus linnaeus discovered this fruit for the first time so the scientist his name is written after the specific name rule number 6 always remember the name of scientist is never written in italics okay and when you write uh, it in your notebook you don't have to underline it if you write magnifera indica lin only underline magnifera and indica leave the name of scientist rule number 7 scientific names are always derived either from latin or greek so they are bit tough to pronounce rule number 8 whenever we go for a botanical trip you people will collect some plant samples and these samples are known as specimens okay then in laboratory we will try to identify the name and classify the name okay then finally you have to store these specimens in herbarium herbarium is present in our laboratory okay thank you thank you for listening in case you have missed any of the lecture you can go to my website that is amarpreetko.com a m a r p r w e t k o u r .com and download lectures from there